Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA videos, we are going to look that how can we perform the alignment over the text in the cells in Microsoft Excel. Now, as we all know that this alignment can be of two types. First is the horizontal alignment and the second is the vertical alignment. Now, if we want to use Microsoft Excel simply, then we can simply go to the home tab and in the alignment group, we have got all these options. So these are the six options of alignment that we can perform. Uh, that is stop, middle and bottom for the vertical and left, middle or the center and the right for the horizontal alignment. So uh, in today's video, we are going to look at just that, that how can we perform the alignment over the cells in Microsoft Excel both horizontally and vertically. Now, what is the usage of this alignment? In the previous video, we learned about merging cells and uh, we saw that how can we merge cells over the rows or over the columns uh, using the VB code in Excel. Now, once we have merged cells, then how can we align them to look visually perfect? This is our sheet from the previous video itself in which we performed uh, row merging over these two uh, rows, the row number one and row number two and this column merging over this column uh, B from B3 till B10. We have merged the cells, but these are not aligned perfectly. That is why it is not looking very good when we are uh, looking it as a whole. So when you are going for a presentation or any other purpose where you want to so, uh, show your sheet to any other person, then what happens is you got to make your text visually presentable. And for that purpose, this alignment thing is very important. So we are going to see that how can we align the text in uh, Microsoft Excel. So first of all, uh, let's see, this is our macro from this previous one. Let's run it once. So we have got this. Okay. So let's remove that unmerging part. And now if we run it, so that is this merging part. Okay. So what we have got is, um, we have got two row merged cells and two column merged cells. Now both of them are aligned to the left and this is aligned to the bottom while this is at the uh, right alignment. So let's just turn uh, its alignment back to this default one like this. Okay. So let's see that how can we apply alignment over the range of cells. Okay. And uh, this alignment can not only be applied over the range of cells, but also over a single cell as well. So I'm going to show you that as well. First of all, let's start with a single cell. Suppose there is a single cell, uh, say F10 is what we have. And let's uh, see how can we apply alignment to it. Okay, so let's just increase its width so that it's visible correctly. Right now it's aligned to the left. Suppose we want to change its horizontal alignment to, to say uh, center. So how can we go with it? First of all, what you got to do is using the square brackets and uh, uh, you got to provide the name of the cell or you can simply use the range function which is what I'm going to do. Uh, just type in the range function, open the parenthesis and the double quotes, and then you got to write the name of the cell or the address of the cell to which you want to apply the alignment. So this is time for F10. So just provide F10, close the double quotes, close the parenthesis and then put a dot. As soon as you put a dot, you got to search for a property known as horizontal alignment. So as soon as you press HO, you will get this horizontal alignment. To make its use, what you got to do is simply put a tab key. As soon as you put a tab key, what will happen is you would be able to perform a horizontal alignment over this particular cell by providing it with a set of values. Now, what values you can do uh, give to it since there are three possibilities for horizontal alignment. So what three values we can give? It could be Excel left, it could be Excel center and it could be Excel right. So there are three uh, possible horizontal alignment, left, center and uh, right. So that is the three properties preceded by the term XL. Suppose we want to change it to the center. So simply write XL center instead of a simple center. And if we just run it, so let's just remove this all code to clean it up. And if we run it, you can see that f 10 alignment has been changed to center. Simply if instead of center, you want to change it to the right side. So you got a provide the right but preceded with excel and if you run it it would get to the right side and simply if you want to change it to left like this 
then what would happen is it would change back to left that's the default alignment so that's how you can perform horizontal alignment over a single piece of cell but what if you have the range of cells then what you can do uh, there is a simple thing similar to this only so what i'm going to do is use the range of cells a1 till f1 so that has been uh, row merged and let's change its alignment to say excel center so we write excel center and as soon as we click on run then you can see that this text has been changed to center and um, that's how you can change the range of the cells horizontal alignment simply if you want to do it for any other range of cells say we have second range that is a2 till f2 this is also the row merged cells and its horizontal alignment we can also change to something say excel right let's write this excel right as soon as we click on uh, run then its alignment is changed to right and this alignment has been changed to center as by default but say you want to change it back to left simply you can write in left and when you run it its alignment would change back to the left so that's how you can play with the horizontal alignment property over the cells now if you want to play with the vertical alignment property instead of the horizontal ones then how can you go with it one thing that is common is this range function you got to type in range and open the parenthesis now here you want to provide the range of the cells so first i am taking up this range that is from a3 till a10 so let's write it a3 till a10 within double quotes so close the double quotes close the parenthesis put a dot since now we are concerning our cells with a property called as vertical alignment instead of the horizontal alignment so what will we do is just type in vertical alignment as soon as we type ver then this vertical alignment property would pop out then put a tab and vb would take this vertical alignment property put an equal sign and again in vertical alignment as we all know that we have three possible values now what are these possible values the top the center and the bottom so using these three values we can perform this vertical alignment so first of all let us say uh, it's by default at the bottom this excel written is by default at the bottom but we want to change it to the top so what you got to provide is proceed it with excel and then write top now let's clear up this code and only this code is remaining of vertical alignment so let's click on run and you can see that now this excel is written on the top that is its alignment has been changed to the top simply if uh, we have this other range that is from b3 till b10 this is the range highlighted right now and you want to change its vertical alignment to say middle then how can you go with it range is what you need to type b3 till b10 uh, then close the parenthesis put a dot vertical alignment equals this time it's going to be excel middle but since uh, in visual basic what we have is center recognized as middle so what we are going to type is excel center instead of excel middle because middle is nothing that this vb recognizes excel center is what it recognizes be it the horizontal alignment or be it the vertical alignment so let's keep it that way excel center and when we run it then you can see that excel written over here has been changed its alignment to the center suppose we want to change it back to the bottom so what we can do is just type in range provide the range suppose b3 till b10 is whose range we want to change this time again vertical alignment and for the bottom the keyword is excel bottom like this and you can run it so again you can see it's changed back to bottom now what happens is if you can just change the alignment of a cell um, both horizontally and vertically then what happens suppose we have this range b3 b till b10 we have changed its vertical alignment to the center and suppose if you want to change its horizontal alignment as well so you just write horizontal alignment put an equal sign and again i want to change its horizontal alignment to the center as well okay so this is what i want to do let's just clear up this line of code because we do not want to uh, use it anymore this is these two lines of code we are concerned with and let's use the step into function by the shortcut f8 so what happens is first of all when this line is executed this excel that is written over here goes to the center vertically 
then again when this f8 is executed it goes to the horizontally center that means both of them have been centered um, that is xl uh, horizontal center and vertical center now when these two lines are executed you can see in the alignment group both of these options have become activated and as well as the smart cell option has been also activated why because the cells have been merged over here and that's why uh, when we are performing this operation so that is why the smart cells option has also been activated so that is how you can perform horizontal and vertical alignment over the cells